Welcome to Championship Wrestling presented by Pro Shingle. Today is a very special day. I am Dustin Starr alongside my lovely Maria. The road has been long, the feuds have been intense, but it's time for the PP3 Finals Blockbuster. Yes! Over the next three weeks, we will be covering the entire event, including the tournament finals next week and a champion showcase the week after that. We have three huge matchups today, starting off with two PP3 tournament competitors going head to head. It's the golden boy, Jer Jordan Clearwater. He's kicking off the hour, taking on outlandish Zicky Dice. Two very different styles looking to gain some momentum after being eliminated from the PP3 tournament. Plus, Lacey Ryan looks to pick up her first win in the best of seven series against Heather Monroe. She's already suffered two losses thanks to stipulations made by Halston Body. Yeah. And you have to wonder what disadvantage Ryan will have to overcome today. But really what I want to know is why is Halston getting to make the calls here? That's actually a really good question. And finally, in your main event, scorned Vermin members Johnny Yuma and Kevin Martinson look to make bad dude Tito pay for turning his back on the group. The loudmouth pests need to focus more on just Tito, though, because his new partner, Latino Meat, Che Cabrera's on top of his game, and the Wolf Zaddies are a threat to any team in this entire industry. Rumor has it Johnny Yuma is looking to spice up that main event. Really? Can't wait for that. Mm -hmm. Later, we're going to talk about our confirmed match at the Birthday Bash on April 25th. We have a live stream benefiting Big Brothers Big Sisters of Mid-South to tell you about. And don't forget, the Evolution Summit is today. I'm tired just thinking about all that. <laughs> Let's not wait any longer. Let's get to the action right now. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one call. Introducing first, from Cocoa Beach, Florida, weighing in at 223 pounds, outlandish Zicky Dice. We welcome you wherever you're watching the great action of championship wrestling. Todd Kennelly, Jeff Resnick, Blake Bulletproof Troop here with you. And somebody that's been all over the place recently has been outlandish. Sicky Dice, he's been in Atlanta, Georgia with the National Wrestling Alliance. Just an upspring of success in his career. And introducing his opponent, weighing in at 215 pounds, the Golden Boy, Jordan Clearwater. And of course, this will be a showcase, TK and Troop, a showcase of uh, some of the great competitors that competed in the PP3 tournament this year. Yeah, no doubt about it. Both these guys uh, made it pretty far into the tournament, both qualified. And Zeke Dice lost to Anthony Idol, one of the finalists in the tournament, in the quarterfinals. So a tough draw there. Two big heavyweights went at it. And Jordan Clearwater, more recently, gentlemen, was eliminated in the semifinals by Ray Roses, but a great showing. Came so close to punching his tickets, his ticket to the final of PP3. That, of course, will happen next week as Anthony Idol faces Ray Roses. But a great showcase match, as you mentioned, Jeff. Two great competitors about to go out in here. Blake, your thoughts as we get ready for the opening bell. Absolutely, I'm excited. You can tell when two guys start getting into it before the bells even rang that once that bell rings, it's gonna get popping. Momentum, so important in professional wrestling. And both these guys had momentum in the tournament, then lost it. So big step back, trying to get back to their winning ways. Mickey Dice has had his eyes on the likes of the NWA television title. Champion, the stroke daddy. Oh! I'll tell you what, you gotta gotta love the the, the, the the outlandish personality of Zicky Dice, don't you, TK? You gotta love it. I'm not sure I'm sold just yet. But he, he is able to play the mental game of chess there, uh, Blake, as well. And you know, trying to get his opponent, especially one as young as Clearwater, out of his element. He's one of my favorite competitors to watch because he comes out here and has fun. He's not just here to win, he's out here to have a good time. Nice amateur takedown there. And some calisthenics. Well, Ziggy Dice in control. He's feeling confident. He's feeling good, TK. Well, and we know that Clearwater is fundamentally sound once under the tutelage of Carl Machine Gun Anderson, then for a while before uh, under the learning tree of Ray Rosas. That's, of course, before Rosas snapped on him. But Ziggy Dice taking back over control of the action. And Ziggy Dice did put in the work. Really, you know, he recently, as we see the headlock takeover, Zicky Dice recently posted an early career picture. You know, when Ooh. he was in shape, that being round. 
He's worked so hard in the gym, guys, to become what he is right now, and it's paying off in big ways in his career. Absolutely, he's come out here and started the match fantastic, taking complete advantage of Jordan Clearwater. Let's see if he's able to switch gears and continue running off with this match. Into the uh, attempted head scissors, I gotta wonder, Jeff, do you think that Zicky Dice tried to keep his opponent close. He knows how dangerous that Midas touch boot is, but he needs, Clearwater needs distance to connect. That's right, oh wait, watch out here. Zicky Dice holds on. Headlock takeover again, back up. Only got a one count there, but that's right. Jordan Clearwater, he can hit that Midas touch boot. It could be lights out for Zicky Dice. Dice knows it. It's almost like Halston Body came out here and said you have to win by headlock takeovers only. But uh, we'll see another stipulation later on in the program. What's that stipulation oh. gonna be in match three? Uh-oh, the hips don't lie, fellas. <laughs> Shoulder blocked by Zicky Dice. Here he goes off the ropes. Oh! You can tell Zicky's really starting to frustrate Jordan Clearwater. Jordan throws a big bomb at Zicky, oh. gets countered again. Wait, I thought he was almost jump guard there, but turned it into a, a head scissors takedown. Looking oh. for the Midas touch, that was close. Oh, big neck breaker there by Clearwater. Goes high impact, Zicky rolling to the outside. That's right, Zicky Dice decided to take a break here. Take a second. Smart move by Zicky, because like you were talking about earlier with momentum, he pulled out of the ring as soon as Jordan started getting a little bit of leeway. In control, but Zicky Dice, you know, run into the sidelines there, getting that break in the action, taking advantage of the count. And of course, such a big, big, uh, you know, big event we have here today. Of course, our main event, TK, main event, the Zaddies against Furman. Can't wait for that. Well, it brought in Zicky Dice the hard way. Yep. Absolutely, Jordan Clearwater's playing smart. He's starting to get a little momentum. He's going to the the pressure. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I agree with you. He's a pressure fighter right now is Clearwater. He's getting his hands literally all over Zicky Dice. I think I think all the, the you know the games and, and Ziggy Dice playing around finally, ooh, finally catching up to him, Todd. You can tell by the look on Ziggy Dice's face that one hurt. You know, gentlemen, all that Ray Roses did to put this youngster through the ringer, I think we're seeing a more deliberate, fired up, aggressive Clearwater than we've ever seen before. Well, you know, we talk about Ray Roses taking Clearwater, you know, uh, you know, uh, under his wing, right? Right, coaching him, teaching him, being his mentor. Maybe that, that final betrayal may be the greatest lesson of all, TK. Uh, we'll find out more to come. This match continues right after this on Championship Wrestling. Memphis weather can be tricky, and so can repairing a roof, but not with Pro Shingle. Complicated insurance claims are easy with Pro Shingle. They'll handle that process for you. Pro Shingle offers free estimates and have financing plans in place so they can help you right now. Be sure to ask about their new roof shampoo. Locally owned and operated, fully licensed and insured, it's the simple choice. Go to ProShingle.com, 901-258-6503, and let ProShingle help today. Have weeds? Need a cut? DC Professional Lawn Service can help. No job too big, no job too small. Call 870-225-6386. The all-new Championship Wrestling Podcast is presented by Be Free CBD. Hosted by Dustin Starr. We'll recap all the action, look ahead to what's coming up next, plus insights on the hottest feuds. BeFreeCBD.com joins forces with Championship Wrestling to help you be and feel your best. Nerd 901 is teaming up with Championship Wrestling to benefit Big Brothers Big Sisters of the Mid-South. That's right. They'll be playing board games live on Twitch, and they'll be accepting donations to send mentors and mentees to the Championship Wrestling Birthday Bash at AutoZone Park. They're going to see us in action. Watch us beat Dustin in board games what? first. No matter where you are in the world, you can join us Friday, March 20th at 8 p.m. It's easy to remember. Twitch.tv slash Nerd 901. See you on the live stream. Our birthday bash is coming up and you're invited. It's the Championship Wrestling Birthday Bash presented by Pro Shingle, live at AutoZone Park on Saturday, April 25th. Oh yeah, tickets available at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Welcome back to Championship Wrestling, a match featuring two of the competitors from this year's PP3 tournament going toe to toe. Oh! On a bragging rights, big release German suplex, beautifully done there by Dice. We have seen a back and forth match, TK. Watch out, Zicky Dice for the cover. Two, no. 
tell you what, that was a close one, Troop, huh? That was. You really start seeing the momentum changing back and forth. Who's going to start running away with this match? Is Zicky going to continue the lead he initially had? Dice is on a roll, that is for certain. That was a huge turning point in the matchup, that released German suplex. I got to wonder what would happen if he had kept the lock and bridge. Might have been able to put him away. I really think he caught Clearwater off guard. And that's just it, guys. This is Zicky Dice. He's so unpredictable, you never know what he's going to hit you with. That's right, you never know what Zicky Dice has in store. What? Oh, look at these shots. Ever seen a hip gyration elbow? That's my point. You just never know. He'll attack from all angles. He uses the mind games, Blake, to try and open up that door of the advantage. It's working for Dice right now. Absolutely, and I think that some of these mind games are what's frustrating Jordan Clearwater so much. And they're just basically raking the eyes, gouging Clearwater. Both these guys again were in that PP3 tournament. The finals take place on next week's episode. That's Ray right. Rosas, Anthony Idol for all the marbles. What a huge matchup. That's going to be the winner of the PP3 Cup tournament. The winner, the guy who gets Percy's privilege, a title shot at any title they want at any time they want. Right, we're going to have a, it's going to be an earthquake here on the San Andreas. We're here in Hollywood. Oh! No! About a seven, but doesn't get the one, two, three. Only a count of two. Yeah. Yeah. You, you gotta think that the devastation, the impact of all of the weight of Zicky Dice on the solar plexus of Jordan Clearwater, TK. Oh, it's gonna make it tough to breathe, I would have to think. And, and what, what, what does it do to you, Blake, as a competitor in there when you start to gas out, you start to lose that oxygen? It's one of the toughest things you can start doing is when you need to suck air and somebody smashes it all out of you. It is the worst. Something that Clearwater is experiencing right now. Maybe a more of a variety of offense from Zicky Dice. Maybe hitting the road with all this traveling. He's picking up new wrinkles to his offense. Nothing pretty about that, but certainly very effective. As he goes for the cover, hooks the leg, only a count of two. Competitive match to kick off the blockbuster. Very, very back and forth matchup. Again, two men who were in the PP3 Cup tournament. Two men who want to get back on the winning ways, the winning ways here at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Ooh, right to the, right to the wrist. When we talked about trying to get oxygen in that body, this isn't going to help Clearwater. You see it there, Blake. Clearwater is changing colors before our very eyes. Absolutely. Once he started sucking air and he's gotten that oxygen jet, now he got Sinky Dice wrenching on his neck, trying to, trying to make it even harder for him to breathe. Oh, watch out, Clearwater, I think, getting that second win, maybe that third win, TK. This kid's got so much heart, fought so hard in that semifinal matchup. Kind of got cheated in my oh! oh my gosh, what a collision! Both went for the crossbody, and bodies go down in a heap. Looked like a car crash. That was brutal, TK. I mean, Zicky Dice almost took Jordan oh. Clearwater's head off with a clothesline before that collision. Man. Well, Blake, if they couldn't breathe before, they certainly can't breathe now. What a shot. What a shot. Both guys are sacrificing their bodies to attack each other. Let's see if they're able to get up in time for the 10 count. Yeah, I don't want to see a double count out to you. Whoa, oh, whoa, look at that for some style points. Zicky Dice. An outlandish kip up. Oh. Come on, Zicky. Gotta love this, huh, Troop? Absolutely. As a combat sports athlete, I love watching two guys stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and knuckle up. Who's got the heart? Who's got the desire? Who's got the will to win, guys? Full head of steam. Zicky oh. Dice follows in, catches him. Kitchen sink. Got him with the knee. Right to the bread basket. Clearwater got a little bit overzealous. He landed a few strikes and tried to go in for the kill, but... Rolling the dice indeed. Hold on, is he gonna get him? Here's the cover. Only a count of two, that was close. Looks like Zicky Dice looking to put the finishing touches on Jordan Clearwater. I'm with you, he's measured, he's got Clearwater measured. High impact maneuver really took a lot out of the youngster. Looking to put him away, perhaps. They can neck break. Outlandish neck breaker doesn't hit it. Oh! Midas touch! Will it turn to gold? Will it turn to victory? Indeed! Wow. The way Ziggy Dice head snapped Here back after that Midas winner, touch. Jordan Clearwater! We'll have another look at it in a second, Blake. We take a look back at the action brought to you by Championship Wrestling's Birthday Bash coming up Memphis, Tennessee, AutoZone Park.
featuring the best of championship wrestling, the NWA, AEW, and so much more. What a match. You saw that big rolling fisherman, but then when it came down to it, the Midas touch, take us through the impact. So you can watch as he lifted his boot up. Ziggy Dice's head just bounced off of the mats. David Marquez standing by. Okay, Todd, thank you very much. Standing by Shut here. Up. Wait, what? Shut up! This is your fault. My fault? This is all your fault. How is this my fault? You lost, I had nothing to do with that. You said, Ziggy Dice, come to Hollywood. Let me make you a star. Well, guess what I did all by myself, Marquez? I am a star! I am Hollywood! And I am sick and tired of your games and entertaining all these people week after week. You guys think I'm the loser? Huh? No, you're the losers. Memphis is the losers. Armarillo are the losers because listen, you will never, and I mean never, see Ziggy Dice here again. Again. I don't know what that just was, ladies and gentlemen. Jicky Dice just says he's not gonna return here to championship wrestling. What does that mean for the future? Right after the break, ladies action. Meet AEW star Peter Avalon. He will be with us at AutoZone Park on Saturday, April 25th. Tickets and details at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Meet Memphis wrestling legend King Cobra, sponsored by Be Free CBD. Championship Wrestling Birthday Bash VIP Meet and Greet starts at 12.30. Get your tickets now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Mark Goodfellow at It's All Good Auto Sales doesn't care about your credit. He cares about you. And he proves it with the best tax time deals in the city of Memphis. Plus, It's All Good Auto is voted Memphis's most best car lot year after year. He's cute in the face and trim in the waist. Call 901-345-9080 or you can just swing by 2944 South 3rd Street in Memphis. For the third time, Mill Marcus Lucha on the ground, Memphis, Tennessee, April 25. Out the sun, park, meet and greet, 12 party. And Ray Custom invited you. So be there. Lucha on the ground, Mill Marcus, for the first time. <sighs> This match three in a best of seven series. Introducing first from Las Vegas, Nevada, Lacey Ryan. Lacey Ryan certainly looks to have her game face on, and she better. She's in a two to nothing deficit in this best of seven series. Another loss would be really costly. Stipulations have been the name of the game. First, it was that five count pin followed by submissions only. What's it gonna be this time? Who knows, TK, who knows? But I know we're gonna find out very soon. It doesn't matter what he's got planned for. She needs to come out here and fight her fight if she wants to take the W home today. You know, Hostin has something planned when he's got shiny pants quiet on. Quiet down, quiet down, an adult is speaking. So he's always got something planned. Lacey Ryan, welcome back for another edition of Watch Lacey Ryan Lose to Heather Monroe. Darling, I am hoping that you watched all that Heather Monroe footage I told you to watch, studied up real hard. But darling, here comes a curveball that even the Houston Astros couldn't predict. Your opponent isn't Heather Monroe for the third match. Your opponent is... What's this all about? It's Bait getting switch. It's getting eerie in here. Oh my good! You, Vipress. Vipress is gonna make her 
championship wrestling debut by interjecting into this best of seven series. Isn't it supposed to be a best of seven series between Lacey Ryan and the Killer Bay? What's this all about? House and Bodie throwing those curveballs like he said, and this was definitely an unpredictable curveball. I think Halston's making the rules and he's, he's changing him as he goes, TK. Oh, if he can name the stipulation, I guess you can uh, name a substitute as well. And this is very dangerous. Vipress, a very tough competitor. And certainly no one that Lacey Ryan would have been prepared for. And how about Halston telling Lacey Ryan, you better do your tape study. You better watch all the footage you can of Heather Monroe setting the stage for this. Absolutely, you can tell Houston's really enjoying this and you can see the frustration on Lacey's face with this curveball. A serpent of evil, viperous. And you gotta think Heather Monroe's watching on and she is just loving this, TK. Just loving it. But yeah, she's up two to nothing. And now she can just sit back and hope that Vipress will earn a third consecutive victory. You can see a pu you know, puzzled look on the face of, of Lacey Ryan who certainly would have been, you got to prepare for anything in this best of seven series, but not even Lacey Ryan could have thought of this. Hey, let, let me ask you, TK, have you ever heard of a best of seven series where like the, the person changes midway through? No, uh, not a exactly. Substitution? That's, that's <laughs> why I questioned what? it earlier. Leave it to Halston and those shiny pants and his, and his plans. You can tell he's proud of himself <laughs> with that smile on his face though. All right, so here we have it, it, it you know, so therefore, if Vipress does beat Lacey, it'll count as a victory for I guess Team Killer Bay on the other side. Lacey Ryan able to earn a victory and try and close that gap. Again, she's down two to nothing. Oh, well, Vipress definitely has a lot of confidence and, and again, just throwing Lacey Ryan completely off her game, TK. You ever been in a situation like this, Troop, where your, 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 your opponent changed at the very last minute? You know, luckily we signed contracts so they don't have a choice in switching things out. That's that always be ready to fight mentality though. Sometimes you. Fighter does have to face an alternate, but this one was premeditated. You know, usually that happens because of a disqualification, an injury, something like that. You know, this one, the brainchild of Halston Body, head scissors here by Vipress, quickly out of there is Lacey Ryan, and expect an aggressive Lacey Ryan because she desperately needs a win. You don't want to go down three to nothing. Then you're one step away from losing the series. Three to zero is definitely a deep hole to have to climb out of. It's not, it's not only a deep hole. I mean, let's face it, guys. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. You don't want to be in that position. It's true. But that embarrassment, I think, it's tempered somewhat with these ridiculous stipulations. But I guess it's something that, you know, Heather's had to face as well in their previous matchups. The stipulations, without a doubt, are having an impact on how these matches are playing out. However, that's why Lacey Ryan needs to come in and fight her fight. Not let the stipulations distract her or pull her out of her game. Not happening right now. She's the recipient of some aggressive kicks there in the corner by the Serpent of Evil. But Lacey Ryan coming right back there. And, and, and you know, like, like we talked about TK, like we talked about Troop, Lacey Ryan was told, study your tapes. You know, plan to straight up cover. A little uh, arrogant you know, cover there, TK. Yeah, you know what, I'll tell you, I, I think that it's no surprise if there was gonna be an alternate, there'd be somebody like Vipress, cause she's just Ooh. as full of herself as, as, and confident as Heather Monroe is if that's even possible. Following in, big shot in the corner. Nice knee there by Lacey Ryan into the snap mare. Boy, look at this fluidity of motion here, guys. Outside, wow. inside elbow, beautifully done. Lacey Ryan's starting to catch her stride here in this match. Well, you know, like you mentioned, she's fighting her fight for the first time. She's finally getting her footing, getting grounded a little bit. And, in, and, and do you think that every time Lacey Ryan is, is striking Vipers that she's picturing the face of Heather Monroe? I would imagine so. I, or she might be Halston Body, perhaps. That's just what I was going to say. <laughs> Ooh. Using the ring as a weapon there is Vipress. Dangerous competitor. Absolutely. Lacey has to make sure that she doesn't allow Halston to distract her during this match, though. He's definitely going to try. Ooh, full mount here. A little ground and pound. You've done plenty of that Ooh, in your those career. Those are vicious strikes by Vipress. Into the cover now, puts the body weight down as Viper. So transitions from the ground and pound into a pinning predicament. And much like these stipulations, keeping Lacey Ryan off balance. Well, Viper has all the advantage. She knew about this match. This was planned. This was the master plan of Halston Body. 
An interesting thing we see is Vipers is trying to do a lot of damage. So even a win here for Lacey, she's still taking damage for the rest of this seven fight series. Yeah, that's an excellent point because someone, oh, oh hold on here, Vipers goes for the cover. Someone who definitely has low mileage now with this one is Heather Monroe because she does have to compete in this matchup. So you're right, whatever match four is gonna be, be Heather Monroe will be rested, she'll be fresh. That's a huge advantage. Lacey Ryan right at the feet of Halston Body. Austin looks like he's gonna be up to something. We've gotta take a break. This matchup continues. Can Lacey Ryan rally and score a victory? We'll be back. Severe weather can mean storm damage to the roof of your home. If you have a leak and need a repair, need a brand new roof, or just need a simple cleaning, let Pro Shingle help today. Go to ProShingle.com or call 901-258-6503. You drive by it every day if you work downtown. The venue is the closest to downtown living without paying downtown prices. And they have avail availability right now. Ask about their award-winning renovations. Book your tour today. Tell them Dustin and Maria sent you. 901-276-3100. Meet Memphis wrestling legend, superstar Bill Dundee, sponsored by the Tub Pros. Championship Wrestling Birthday Bash VIP meet and greet starts at 12.30. Get your tickets at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Our buddy Brian Trammell and his wrestling podcast are doing record numbers. Oh, congratulations on all this success. That's right, new episodes and guests multiple times per week. Check them out at www.stspod.club. Showered by bills? It's raining cash at 745 Cash. Title loans, payday loans. I got $400. I got $2,500. And they even gave me $2 bills. I'm not a customer, but I referred my brother and got $100 referral cash. Why go anywhere else? We'll buy your loan from any competitor. Just go to 745cash.com and get started now. Go for the gold. Welcome back, everyone. No, you're not missing anything if you're just joining. This is match three of a best of seven series between Lacey Ryan, who you see in the ring, and Heather Monroe, who is conspicuous by his app by her absence. Hold on here as Vipress. The stipulation was she would substitute for the Killer Bay in this matchup, and that's what we've got here, keeping Lacey Ryan guessing. And an aggressive Vipress has been very effective thus far. Vipers now working over the leg of Lacey Ryan. Again, and, and Lacey Ryan also having to deal with the, the taunting, the words of Halston Body on the outside, Troop. Absolutely, she can, like I mentioned earlier, she cannot allow herself to get distracted by Halston. She's dealing with a whole lot Ooh. right there with Vipers. Boy, leg not supposed to bend like that. Nasty leg lock there by Vipers. And that's gonna take some of the spring out of the legs and some of the high-risk offense that Lacey Ryan's known for, gentlemen. Yeah, we, we, we saw the speed, the agility of Lacey Ryan earlier. Probably going to be a little tougher from here on out, huh, Troop? Absolutely. And if she keeps working on that knee, like I was saying earlier with this seven-match series, who knows how this is going to feel the next time Heather Monroe and Lacey Evans get in the ring together. Lacey Ryan, yeah, is in big trouble here. That leg being put on the dissection pan and being pinned into the wax here, so to speak. You gotta wonder, was this the plan? Was this the master plan to take out the wheel of Lacey Ryan to set her up even weaker for match four? You've gotta think so. House and Bodie's a smart man. He's been making all kinds of stipulations to make sure that Killer Bay wins. So you gotta imagine that's the case. So basically saying Viper's kind of a paid assassin here to do the dirty work, injure Lacey Ryan. And if she can, pick up a victory along the way and make it three to nothing. Open that door for Heather Monroe to come and get that series closing win in match four and maybe get the clean sweep, but we'll see. We're not there yet. Lacey Ryan's got tons of fight, tons of heart. Oh, small package. Got an inside cradle. Almost got it done. That was a close one. Definitely TK. surprised Vipers with that. Got the two count. Kind of desperation though, too. Yeah, well, you, you, you can see Vipers hasn't, hasn't skipped, it, hasn't missed a beat here. She's back on that leg like nothing happened. And, and Lacey Ryan coming off of one submission loss for that seven year stretch. She'd hate to tap twice in the midst of this best of seven series, fighting to try and get to that rope. Oh, look at the torque, really oh. wrenching down and the Achilles as well. All kinds oh. of pain. Look at the agony on Lacey's face. Oh, she gets to the ropes. Walk like that. 
group really attacks several parts of the body. Absolutely, and it's been a continual attack on that knee. We're gonna see if we're gonna see any residual effects on that later in the later on in the match. Big shot there by Vipress. And Vipress just so arrogant, so confident, just taunting Lacey Ryan, telling her to get up. See, oh. Lacey's struggling to even put weight on that leg now. Halston body loving every second of it, and you gotta believe somewhere the Keller Bay watching on. Lacey Ryan just, it just looks like she's just trying to create space at this point, just to give her an opportunity to, to figure out what to do in this situation. Heather Monroe probably having a spa day, sipping a martini, while Lacey Ryan out there battling for a victory. A lot of strength in the legs though, but that's gonna be a sacrifice play as well. We'll see if oh! that vertical base holds up. It is right now, and a lot of fire in the strikes. So Lacey Ryan, oh. look out here, sling blade. The power, the aggression of Lacey Ryan. Oh, shot after shot. This turned into a fireworks show right now, courtesy of Lacey Ryan. And you can see she is following, wait a second, cover, two. No, that was close, Todd, that was close. Sure was, and I like that too. Did you see Lacey Ryan pulling the hand away from the rope, forcing Vipress to kick out, not allowing Vipress to get the easy way out, the rope break. What a matchup, back and forth. Absolutely, this she's, has been a scrap. She's rocked, she might be out here, gentlemen, look out. Oh, that was close. These girls are really putting it on the line. I love watching women compete in combat sports. Men feel like they have a place here, but women come and compete. Oh, wait like a second, cradle again. Two. Almost, almost snuck in there and got it again. But that leg, a lot of damage. Oh, down goes Lacey Ryan. She ate all of that. Halston body up there now. Well, what's Halston doing? Well, I think you guys were right. I think the point was to injure Lacey Ryan, but I, I think Vipers could have gotten the victory. Oh, look out. Oh, oh! Gravity takes over. Down goes Halston. Oh, what a shot. Echoing off the walls of the Ocean View Pavilion. Lacey Ryan. Oh, what a strike there with the knee. Beautifully done. Is that going to do it? Oh my gosh, Vipers kicks out. How, did, match. how did she kick out, TK? How did she kick out? Boy, Lacey Ryan's gotten a lot of victories with that tilt to whirl into the knee. That round the world trip, now into a fireman's carry. Lacey Ryan will not be denied. Rolling through. Lacey, Lacey Ryan with the comeback. Lacey Ryan on literally one leg, scaling to the top rope. Can she put away Vipress? Rock splash, adrenaline can do wonders. Wow. Yes, unbelievable. Vipress was so close to winning that Here match. Here is your winner, Lacey Ryan. What a match, Vipress, the higher gun comes in and she didn't disappoint, very impressive. But Lacey Ryan digging down deep, let's look back at the action brought to you by the Championship Wrestling one year anniversary, birthday bash coming your way to Memphis. Here we see it, that vicious leg lock by Vipers, you mentioned, came really close. Absolutely, you can see the way that she's just twerking on him, the agony on Lacey's face. But in the end, Jeff, one-legged, how about that frog splash? One leg, scaling to the top rope, hits the big frog splash, putting Vipers away, what heart? What an athlete, Lacey Ryan. Still to come, our main event, tag team action, and much more here on Championship Wrestling. Welcome to the Birthday Bash Control Center. And before we get to the highlights, we have our first confirmed match for April 25th. Oh yeah! Shout out to our guy, Nico Marquez, for making the right decision here. And Nico can certainly understand why this match is so important to us. He was actually there when it happened. And I'm not gonna yell, I'm not gonna scream, I'm not gonna raise my voice from now until April 25th. I'm gonna be like a caged lion. And on April 25th at AutoZone Park, my Maria, she's gonna <laughs> let me out. Nobody's gonna be able to save you, not even your boys Adrian Quest and Andy Brown, Ray Rosas. You are not gonna wanna miss this. Get mm -mm. your VIP ticket right now. Those are limited availability and they'll get you access to the VIP meet and greet plus a ringside seat. Be a part of history at our first live TV taping in Memphis. That's right, stay tuned. More matches will be announced very soon. 
And if you're just now joining us, we're well underway with part one of our PP3 Finals Blockbuster. Jordan Clearwater scored a win over Zicky Dice in the opener, and afterwards, Dice had some harsh words for everyone, and then he seemingly quit. The competition in championship wrestling isn't for everyone. I'm not sure if we're ever going to see Zicky again, but I look forward to seeing Jordan Clearwater continue his winning ways after a tough year and a string of losses. Austin Body threw quite the curveball at Lacey Ryan, but she hit a home run and picked up her first win with the best of seven over Heather by beating the debuting Vipress. I see what you did there, home run, <laughs> AutoZone Park. We've never seen Vipress before, but she showed exactly why Houston chose her as a substitute to not only let Heather rest, but completely throw Lacey Ryan off her game. However, Lacey overcame the odds, and now the series is two to one. It's time for the main. Event. Oh yeah! Word around the locker room says Johnny Yuma has something big up his sleeves for the Wolf Daddies, so stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. The main event is next. Oh! Have weeds? Need a cut? DC Professional Lawn Service can help. No job too big, no job too small. Call 870-225-6386. Nerd901 is teaming up with Championship Wrestling to benefit Big Brothers Big Sisters of the Mid-South. That's right. They'll be playing board games live on Twitch, and they'll be accepting donations to send mentors and mentees to the Championship Wrestling Birthday Bash at AutoZone Park. They're going to see us in action. Watch us beat Dustin in board games what? first. No matter where you are in the world, you can join us Friday, March 20th at 8 p.m. It's easy to remember. Twitch.tv slash Nerd901. See you on the live stream. Meet Memphis wrestling legend and WWE Hall of Famer Coco Beware. The Birdman is sponsored by Memphis Zoo. Championship Wrestling Birthday Bash VIP meet and greet is on April 25th at 12.30. Get your tickets at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. We love the Green Line, so we love this community. And so will you. The newly renovated Green Line Apartments is conveniently located near everything you love. Only minutes from shopping, dining, and the University of Memphis. Plus, easy access to the Green Line. See for yourself, 901-248-4406. All right, folks, John Roberts here, and I'm joined at this time by Anthony Idol. And Mr. Idol, next week you have a date with Destiny in the finals of the PP3 Cup Tournament. What are your thoughts ahead of this monumental matchup? Well, I'll tell you what. The PP3 Cup represents a humongous opportunity for the neon phenomenon. I come away with the cup, that means I get a shot at any championship of my choosing. And I cannot wait to get down with Ray Rosas. Rosas, you want to get on TV and act like, oh, it's so cool to be so cynical because I don't care. Well, Rosas, I do care big time, and I'm going to show everybody how much I care when I get my hands on you and break you in half. Bring your little click. Bring Andy Brown. Bring Adrian Quest, man. I single arm dumbbell curl dudes bigger than Adrian Quest, and I cannot wait to show everybody how much I care about the PP3 Cup. Oh, I cannot wait. Ah! Main event time here on Championship Wrestling, a team that's been instrumental in many main events in the decade-long history of this program has been Verma. Vermin, Johnny Yuma, and Kevin Martinson. And Yuma recently has really taken umbrage with the fact that Tito has not embraced his Vermin roots. That's right, Johnny Yuma been all over Tito about that. Again, a lot of bad blood and a lot of history, but we're all gonna see it come to a head right now. You really can't blame Johnny Yuma for having a problem with somebody not being loyal to their roots. I can completely understand that. What better way to settle it than getting inside the squared circle? Amen. The Wolf Daddies are in the house. Sure are. This has got to be a team that you would appreciate, Blake. I love I love guys that come in and bang, man. It's my favorite. Then Todd Kennelly, Jeff Resnick. Lights out extreme fighting heavyweight Blake Bulletproof Troop here with the call to action here at the PP3 Blockbuster. And since erupting on the scene and combining their forces, the Wolf Zaddies have been undefeated and unstoppable. 
The Wolf Zaddy, they're two bad dudes. Bad dude Tito, Che Cabrera. Again, I've known all four men in this matchup for a very long time. Can't wait to see them all tangled. As we celebrate a decade of championship wrestling, this is truly a fitting main event. And here to set the stage for that main event, our own Adnan Qureshi. The following contest is a tech. Shut that mouth, Adnan. I got something to say. Hey, 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 hey. This is a PP3 Finals blockbuster. It's a big day, so why don't we make this a little more interesting? Why don't we see if you guys can do what Scorpio Sky could never do? Let's see if you could do what PP Ray could never do. Let's see if you could do what the Rock Nest Monsters could never do. Let's see if you can get rid of Vermin. You boys are looking good. You're kind of looking like you're about to get signed somewhere. So why don't we make this match? What? Hey, if you got the cojones, why don't we make this match? Loser leaves Whoa, what? Oh, Wait. What do you say, boys? No. Oh! I'll take that as a yes. Oh, we're in for a hell of a good time in our Wait. main event. The stakes couldn't be any higher. Loser leaves town. Whoever loses this match, they are going to kiss championship wrestling goodbye. Wait, what, what is going on, TK? Are you telling me that this... Wait. If Johnny Yuma and Kevin Martin lose, they're gone. And if the, if the, if the Wolf's Hatties lose, they're gone. That, that's the point of a loser leaves town match. Yes. I'm in shock. One of the top, one of the top teams in this program are gonna be gone after this matchup. And after all four guys, Blake, I know you're new to the program, have tons of longevity in the 10 year history of this program. Absolutely, I was already excited to watch these two teams bang it out, but now with the emotional stuff on the line, it's even bigger with this loser leaves town. And you can see the intensity of the Zaddies early on in this matchup. They're going full force here, TK. Well, a huge opportunity to eradicate Vermin. They will be big time exterminators if they can do just that. But on the flip side, their future in question as well. What a, what a main event here for week one of the PP3 blockbuster. So much on the line. Again, we talked about all the bad blood, all the history, but again, things just got taken to another level. Huge implications, Yuma misses there. And I'll tell you what, the, the crowd here at the Oceanside, Oceanside View Pavilion don't uh, Ocean View Pavilion don't 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 very much appreciate Johnny Yuma, do they, TK? No, they don't. And and why would they? I mean, he would he's built quite a case to hate him over the years. Shot after shot here by Tito, just full force, full speed ahead. It's I'm, close line. I'm happy to see these two being able to get it in first because the beef really comes down to Johnny Yuma and Tito Escondido. Yeah, bad dude Tito and 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 Yuma, a lot of history with Vermin. Both are former Heritage Champions. And fittingly enough, Yuma used that PP3 and Percy's privilege to get there. Cabrera runs into the knees. Nice counter there by Yuma. Tag in to Martinson. Martinson, a dangerous competitor, can hit you from all angles. But again, Che Cabrera one step ahead with that backbreaker. Z Zaddies are so powerful, but Martinson, deceptively powerful, but gets turned inside out. What a cannon shot there with the clothesline by Cabrera. Wow. Striking at its best. Absolutely. Kevin just does not have an answer for Che Cabrera's strength. Not a good start after the bravado. After the chant, do you think maybe some remorse here? Do you think maybe Yuma wishes he could take it back? But now, Berman using those tactics to get back into this. Listen, I, I don't know what possessed John Yuma to, to, to put his career and Kevin Martin's career in championship wrestling from Hollywood on the line. Did he perhaps just, does he just want to get rid of the Zaddies that badly? Is that what this is about? Well, Kevin definitely did not look excited to hear that stipulation announced by Yuma. Let's see if it creates a rift between these two during the match. Yeah, that's an excellent point. It, it could really drive a wedge because, you know, if they lose this match, Kevin Martinson guilty by association, and he'll be heading to the hills. And again, as we haven't talked about uh, too much, again, Tito, bad dude, Tito, a former member of Urban, so Tito, uh, Kevin, uh, Johnny, of course, know each other so well. Che Cabrera may be the X factor in this matchup. Look at this Vermin nerve hold. 
of sorts. Using the rope as well. Again, just such unorthodox offense. But they'll smother you. You see this right now, gentlemen. They are smothering Cabrera, not allowing Che to get a breath. Now into the cover goes Yuma. Furman is doing a fantastic job of keeping Che in their corner and controlling him and doing damage. You know what they say, Resnick. Tag Team Wrestling 101, cutting off the ring. That's right. Johnny Yuma and, listen, Kevin Martinson, they know that, right? They are Tag Team veterans, Tag Team specialists, Tag Team experts. They know what to do to get the job done. They've been to the top of the mountain many a time. Former tag team champions, and they've really taken a lot of starch. They've really held all, they, they've held all the gold here, right? Kevin Martinson, a former television champion, correct? Johnny Yuma, of course, former heritage champion. They have dominated championship wrestling from Hollywood. They work fantastic as a team unit as well. All right, look at this joint manipulation here by Kevin Martinson, a variation of the tried and true abdominal stretch. Fish hooking as well. Well, that's illegal in the lights out cage, but you got five seconds to break here. Tito does not look happy about that fish hook on his teammate. And again, Martinson and Yuma just playing the mind games with the Zaddies at this point. I think, again, cutting off the ring and just getting under the skin of bad dude Tito. And this already, absolutely, this already, guys, would have been a huge tag team main event, a real power struggle. A, 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 a battle for bragging rights. But again, the careers of one of these teams on this program is going to come to an end with this main event. Another shot there by Martinson. I mean, the careers, the complexion of the tag team division in championship wrestling from Hollywood will be forever changed after this matchup. Furman in control, unique tag made as Yuma back in. Furman in control. Can they eliminate the Wolf Zaddies from the roster? We'll find out after this. Severe weather can mean storm damage to the roof of your home. If you have a leak and need a repair, need a brand new roof, or just need a simple cleaning, let Pro Shingle help today. Go to ProShingle.com or call 901-258-6503. The all-new Championship Wrestling Podcast is presented by Be Free CBD. Hosted by Dustin Starr, we'll recap all the action, look ahead to what's coming up next, plus insights on the hottest feuds. BeFreeCBD.com joins forces with Championship Wrestling to help you be and feel your best. This portion of Championship Wrestling is presented by Platinum Jewelers. You know how much I love Platinum Jewelers, and you also should know that a diamond are a girl's best friend. Platinum Jewelers carries the most beautiful bracelets and necklaces like one I'm wearing now, but they also carry new and pre-owned high-end watches. Speaking of which, take a look at this Rolex I'm wearing right now. Oh yeah, and my guys out there looking to get engaged look no further. Platinum Jewelers can work within your budget. Visit them today at one of their convenient locations in Memphis. Platinum Jewelers, also a proud sponsor of our birthday bash. Welcome back everyone to Championship Wrestling. Throughout the break, Vermin holding on to the advantage. Again, we must mention the stakes in this main event matchup. Ooh, careers on the line, loser leaves town. Tilt to world backbreaker, thereby Cabrera finding a way. All right. Look at that little rat, getting to his back. Furman finding a way, look at this lock. He might take the big man down here, guys. What do you think of the technique here, Troop? It's an effective, you can see he's really under the chin, so he's really got that choke sunk in. Let's see if Che Cabrera is able to stay conscious. That arm is draping there. I think Cabrera is going out. I think he's going out. What a submission victory this would be for Yuma. And you can kiss the Zaddies goodbye. Whoa. No, sir, not yet. Something left in the tank. Almost. You can really see the color change, though, in Che Cabrera's face. Not so fast. We're seeing the power of Cabrera. Oh, look at that by Martinson. Cheap shot. And that only put more pressure onto that choke. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, look out here. 
Referee busy with Martinson breaking up that submission attempt was the bad dude. That bad dude looking to win by any means necessary. Their careers here at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood on the line. Everything hangs in the balance. Good point. Looked like bad dude Tito got tired of Vermin pulling their dirty tactics and came over and threw something of his own in there. Tell you what, guys, we're really very much back to square one in this main event matchup with so much on the line. Tag is made, here comes the bad dude. Likewise, Martinson Whoa! checks in. Big high elevation, of course. This all came down to Tito personally against Vermin, and now we're gonna see it. I don't know that Vermin made a tag there. Both members are still in. We'll, we'll see what the referee decides here. But right now, the bad dude having fun, Whoa! dividing and conquering. Watch out. Big drops, man, what a suplex. What a top of Kevin. A little variation of that bad dude driver. Ooh. Oh, and there it is. Center of the ring. Goodbye, Vermin. See you later. Thanks for playing. No, only a count of two. It was close. We got Che Cabrera back in the battle now. I think we can tell who you're cheering for, TK. Well, you know, they were going for the cover there. Maybe the other way around I'd have some enthusiasm, but I'm not sure. We'll see if it happens. Oh, whoa. Oh. Thumb to the eye there by Marnson. I wouldn't want to be the official in this thing. Oh, 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 oh my gosh! Wow. Over. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, and that was some damn sure dangerous physics going on there. Pulling my out, goodness. Pulling out all the stops here in our main event at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Now all we got left is Tito and Yuma in the ring. Let's see them handle this beef. Who's going home? Great ball. He was Ooh. looking. He was looking for that sex factor, and now the bad dude has been unleashed, and this place is going crazy. Could this be the beginning of the end of Vermin? Might be on their way. Might be scurrying back to their holes and their dumpsters. Oh, shot! Loser might be out. Town. Oh, Who man. will be victorious? Martinson still fighting. Martinson's still fighting with everything he's got. He knows his partner's in deep trouble here. Uh-oh, uh -oh. look out here. I think he might be looking for weapons grade balonium on the floor. Again, both teams going all out. Here we go. Oh, gonna get the high ground. There it oh! is! Weapons grade balonium on the outside and bodies are strewn everywhere. Again, you gotta, you gotta wonder, what, all four men are down. Who's gonna be the first to their feet? What happens if they both get counted out? Is everybody gone? I, well, that's, that would be like a double loss. I, maybe so. That would be a, a, a Nico Marquez. Maybe we'd have a judgment call. Wait, 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 wait a second. Yuma back in the ring. Martinson helping him out. But the, the count, oh, the count is continuing here. The count is continuing on the, on the Zaddies. We're up to seven. Okay, Tito, come on. You guys got to get in there. Somebody's got to get in. It's up to nine. Oh, at the oh. last split second. So close. I'm surprised Yuma doesn't just go for the pin here with how damaged both these competitors are. Again, I know I know we talked about the tag earlier. I think the referee has decided that Johnny Yuma and Tito, Brad and Tito are the legal men in this match. Absolutely, matchup. even despite all the extracurricular on the outside. That was crazy that there's been so much chaos, it's been hard to keep up with who the who the legal man is. Weapons grade, balonium on the outside. Off the Both ramp. members, unbelievable. But you're right, it's come down to this. Who wants it more? There couldn't be two better people in the ring fighting it out right now than Yuma and Tito for this Ooh. beef. Big suplex, whose career will end? Whose career will go on? But that throw took Yuma right to his own corner and that allows Martinson to make the tag. And we've got one heck of a brawl here. These two trading like Wall Street. Center of the ring, Cabrera, Martinson going toe to toe. Now Martinson looking for maybe a big suplex here. Uh, no. brain, I think he was thinking Brain Buster. He's put away so many with that over the years, but just too much power there by Cabrera. That's the thing about the Zaddies, TK. Again, power from Cabrera, power from Bad Dude Tito. It's a real power struggle. Look out here. Ooh. Oh, man. Martinson's out. You got to believe. And that might open the door. Are we, are we looking at some satisfaction? Might open the door for satisfaction. Might close the door permanently on Vermin. Yuma for the save. Wait, no. Martinson countering. Looking for the rat trap. Looking oh, we, for the rat trap. We've, we've got it in. We've seen many men tap to this one. 
It's gonna be the end of the Zaddies, no! What, wait, what is the bad dude doing? What a way to break that up. Wait, what a main event matchup with so much on the line. I don't wanna watch, or, or I don't wanna talk, uh -oh. I just wanna watch this match, it's crazy. Oh! Double disc punch. Took his head off, covers, goodbye Vermin! Yuma oh. saves him again, finds a way. Wait, they are Vermin, they're like cockroaches. They'll be the only thing left, guys. And they survive everything, does Furman. Can they survive the Zaddies? Now Yuma trying to get Martins into his corner. Get back in there. He's the fresh man right now. But there's the veteran wear, Yuma, even in the midst of warfare like this. Saying to load him up, looking for another double team move. Uh-oh. Oh, the old, he's right behind me, isn't he? Watch out here. You're not gonna like the view. Don't turn around. Oh, he's Ooh, shot by, shot by Yuma. Yeah, Yuma broke the hands there. Oh, here we go. Looking for explosive oh! amnesia, but something happened on the way to the form. Tito out of left field. Oh, now he's begging, he's begging. Here oh, we here, go, Todd. Oh yeah, can't get no satisfaction. See you later. Oh, bye bye, Vermin. Here are The Wolf Zaddies get the victory, and we've just been handed a memo from the back, officially from the desk of Nico Marquez, that this memo is, le that it's legit, that stipulation will be upheld. The contracts of Vermin for championship wrestling, they will be terminated. But let's look back at how it all happened. How about the action earlier on the outside? We bring you the action brought to you by the Birthday Bash in Memphis on April 25th. Look on the outside, this double team move, the explosive amnesia on the outside, back inside, rat trap. Thought that was gonna do it, but in the end, the Zadis faction gets it done. Goodbye, Vermin. I can't believe it, we've seen TK. I can't believe it, the end of Johnny Yuma, the end of Kevin Martins, and the end of Vermin on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. We have witnessed history here. Vermin will not inherit the earth. And we'll be back. Blake, you're gonna join us next next week for week two? Absolutely, I'll be back next week. We'll see you next time. Welcome back and thank you for joining us for another week of the most unpredictable and exciting pro wrestling in the 901. Unpredictable is a real understatement because we just saw the extermination of vermin. That's right, Johnny Yuma ran his mouth and wrote a check that the Wolf Zaddies tore up and shoved right down his throat. Vermin turned this match into a loser leaves town match and lost. Vermin terrorized this company for years, yeah. fell apart from the inside and disappeared only to return and cause more problems. But they won't be a problem ever again thanks to Bad Dude Tito and Che Cabrera. The momentum the Wolf Zaddies have after a win like this should have Adrian Quest and Andy Brown shaking in their boots. Wolf Zaddies are still undefeated. Ow! I That's it, it for part one of the PP3 <laughs> Finals Blockbuster, but join us next week for more action. Anthony Idol battles Ray Rosas for the PP3 Cup. Uh, let's go, Idol. I'm pulling for you. <laughs> and as you saw this week, you never know what will happen. Don't you dare forget, join us Friday night at 8 p.m. at twitch.tv slash nerd901. Remember, donations benefit Big Brothers of Big Sisters of Mid-South. Until then, we'll see you next time.